Nothing in this podcast or on our website should be construed as medical advice. Consult your healthcare provider for your individual nutritional and medical needs. The information presented is based on our research and is strictly that of the author and not necessarily those of any professional group or other individual. Hi, I'm Sue Becker from Bread Beckers. Welcome to Sue's Healthy Minutes. I'm so excited you've joined me today, and I hope this episode encourages you and allows you to find the answers you have been praying for, for the health of you and your family. It's the week of Thanksgiving, and I'm sure if you're like me, most of you are preparing for a celebration of some kind, probably with lots of food involved. Our family gatherings this year are so large that we had to rent the local community center to house us all, but we love the food, the fellowship, and the laughter that will be shared. We are a competitive family, so games are always involved. I will keep today's episode short as I am sure you are as busy as I am getting ready. I thought today it would be appropriate to share a word about being thankful. I think one of the most sobering stories in the Bible is recorded in Numbers chapter 21. The children of Israel have come out of Egypt and have been wandering in the wilderness for a while. They have faced enemies, but been victorious, and God has graciously, miraculously supplied them with water and manna from heaven. But Numbers 21 verse 4 tells us that the Israelites became impatient because of their challenges of their journey in the wilderness. Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? Verse 5 goes on to say that the people spoke against God and against Moses by saying, Why have you brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? Then they go on to say some of the most heartbreaking words spoken. They say, There is no bread and there is no water, and we hate this detestable manna. Some versions say they call it miserable food. As a parent, I can almost hear God's heart breaking as he sends just punishment on them. For the very next verse says, Then the Lord sent fiery burning serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and many died. Then... The people came to Moses and repented, saying, We have sinned against the Lord and against you. Pray now that the Lord will remove these serpents from us. Now, the account goes on to tell us that the Lord did not necessarily remove the serpents, but sent a pathway for healing if they got bitten. There is a powerful lesson for all of us in this account. A lack of thankfulness can bring dire consequences. Psalm 78 verse 17 speaks further of their ungrateful hearts. Psalm 78 begins by declaring all that God did for the children of Israel when he led them out of Egypt throughout their time in the wilderness. Then verse 17 says, yet they still continue to sin against him by rebelling against him in the desert. Verse 18 tells us that they tempted God in their hearts by asking for food according to their selfish appetites. The psalm goes on to say that God became full of wrath against them because they did not believe in him or trust him. But verse 23 through 25 says, Yet God commanded the clouds from above and opened up the doors of heaven, and he rained down manna upon them to eat, and he gave them the grain of heaven, and man ate the bread of angels. God sent them provisions in abundance. Hallelujah. Despite their sinfulness, God provided. As we prepare our food this week for our Thanksgiving feasts, let us remember to thank God for His abundant provisions, His perfect 
provisions of real food and real bread to nourish our bodies. And let us ask for forgiveness for altering his perfect design and asking for food according to our selfish appetites. Be blessed this week with a heart of thanksgiving. Thank you for listening today. Until next time, this is Sue Becker from Bread Beckers with Sue's Healthy Minutes. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Sue's Healthy Minutes podcast has been a presentation by the Bread Beckers Incorporated located in Woodstock, Georgia. For more information, store hours, and learning opportunities, visit breadbeckers.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast and never miss an episode. Share this with two friends who would benefit from this information and be sure to join us again next week for more of Sue's Healthy Minutes.